Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Do you remember Jarvis from Iron Man? Wake up, daddy son. Welcome home, sir. So ChatGPT is the closest thing we have today to that level of AI interaction. And this isn't just another voice assistant, it is a next level AI conversation. And let me explain why. ChatGPT voice conversation has been available for a while, so you've probably heard of it. If you haven't, there is a headphones icon on the ChatGPT mobile app that you can tap to speak with ChatGPT and have it talk back to you. Here's how it works. ChatGPT uses Whisper, its voice recognition system, to convert your voice to text. Then it responds to your text prompt and uses a new text-to-speech model based on sample speech from professional voice actors to generate a voice response. Both their speech recognition and text-to-speech are of the highest quality. I've been using its voice recognition since the release of the ChatGPT mobile app and I've been always impressed by how well it works. Even if you are a non-native speaker and make a lot of mistakes, it understands the context of your speech and always gets it right for me. ChatGPT's text-to-speech is comparable maybe to Eleven Labs, the industry leader in this technology, but honestly, it sounds even more natural to me. It is also very intuitive. If you have a problem with your mic or your speech becomes very unclear, ChatGPT will actually interrupt you like a real person and ask you to repeat what you said after the point at which it lost you. This type of interaction feels truly amazing. And because of how capable ChatGPT is, there are so many use cases for this feature. For example, you can use it to quiz yourself for studying. Let's quickly give it a test. Hey, I am learning about the Second World War. Can you please quiz me? Ask me a question, then wait for my answer, comment on my answer, tell me whether it is right or wrong, provide the correct one, and then move on to the next question. Um, increase the difficulty of the questions every five questions. Of course. Let's get started. Question one. Which two main powers were at odds during the Second World War, forming the primary opposing military alliances? Please provide your answer. Uh, Germany and Japan, and uh, on the other side, uh, the main powers were the US, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union. That's correct. Germany and Japan were part of the Axis powers, while the US, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union were among the major allies. Question two. Which significant event in 1939 is commonly seen as the official start of World War II? Go ahead with your answer. Um, uh, the invasion of Poland. Exactly right. Germany's invasion of Poland on September 1st, 1939 marked the beginning of World War II. Question three. Which operation was the code name for the Battle of Normandy launched in June 1944? I don't What's know. I don't know. That's okay. The operation you're thinking of is called Operation Overlord. It was the code name for the Battle of Normandy. And as you see, you don't have to wait until it is done. You can just tap to interrupt and start speaking again. So ask me another question. All right, understood. Let's continue. Question four, repeated. What is the name of the German military strategy which means lightning warfare? Also, you don't have to keep it open. You can just switch to another app or completely lock your screen and it will still hear you. Hey, ChatGPT, let's uh, continue with another question. Uh, give me the capital of Germany. Got it. The capital of Germany is Berlin. 
You can also use it to prepare for a job interview, just ask it to act as an interviewer, describe the position you're applying for, the hiring company, and you'll have a great mock interview with a professional recruiter or hiring manager. You'll get intelligent responses, a decent feedback, I've tried it and it works incredibly well, to the point where it feels a little creepy how similar it is to a real interview. In the same way you can practice new languages, for example. I've been looking for years for an app that could replace a human tutor for practicing new languages I am learning. And now ChatGPT is the best language learning app out there. You can practice your speaking skills, ask it to act as a tutor, provide feedback, correct your grammar, or just have a conversation with it. It is amazing. Okay, all of that is great, but what makes it a game changer? And that's the main message of this video. There is a lot of critique that AI and modern tech might be pulling us away from our real, from our human experiences. That as we dive deeper into virtual realm, we risk disconnecting from the real tangible world around us. The truth is that these technologies can actually free us up to be more human. I know many people who have begun using ChatGPT voice conversations for a few hours daily. Whenever you need to prepare a presentation or write an essay or script a video, instead of sitting and typing, you can just talk to ChatGPT and use it as a co-pilot in your workflow. Honestly, the last few scripts for my videos were crafted exactly like this. I go for a one hour walk in the park and just, you know, dictate my unstructured thoughts into ChatGPT, which then transcribes them into well-structured chapters. I then listen to those chapters, iterate, ask it to make changes until I'm happy with the result. Everything I say and everything ChatGPT responds to me is stored in my chat history, so I just get home and copy the text from ChatGPT to have a ready to use script. My argument is that sitting at a desk and typing on a keyboard for 8 hours a day is not natural for humans, but walking, talking and using our voices to get work done is much more natural. Therefore, I believe that the rapid advancement of technology and AI does not take away our humanity, but rather provides more freedom to be more natural as human beings. But hey, that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments. And that's it for this short video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.